What's going on my fellow elegant savages? Today we're gonna discuss why you can't do pull-ups. Majority of the time when I see people trying to do pull-ups, they go jump on the bar and immediately go into a dead hang position. After that, they try to use all their strength to pull their body above the bar, or at least their chin. And that's what brings me to the first reason on why you can't do pull-ups, and that reason is lack of technique. If you want to truly get all of the benefits from doing one of the best back exercises ever created, you have to go about doing it the right way, and cheating yourself with momentum swings or bad form will only get you possibly hurt or leave you scratching your head wondering why you're not seeing the results that you've been working so hard to get. So as you can see here, I'm on the bar right now and I'm in a dead hang position. As I just stated, this is not the position you want to be in when you start doing pull-ups. Instead, you want to actually activate your scapula before starting your pull-ups. In order to do this, you will need to depress your shoulder blades by squeezing them as tight as you can as if there's a ball in between them and you're trying to keep it from falling out. By activating your scapulas before you start doing pull-ups, you give yourself a better chance to create a mind-muscle connection and do a better job at activating your posterior chain. Now I'm going to discuss the two most common types of pull-ups. I'll start with the strict pull-up, also known as the straight pull-up. The straight pull-up is performed by tilting your pelvis back. By tilting your pelvis back, you actually engage your core more while you're doing your pull-ups. Now, the obvious pros to doing this type of pull-up is the core engagement. The con is that this causes you to activate more of your interior chain, which may cause you to lose out on some of your posterior chain benefits. Now, let's discuss the arch back pull-up. You perform the arch back pull-up by arching your upper back and activating your scapulas. The benefit of doing an arch back pull-up is now you're activating more of your posterior chain, so that means more back gains. And since this is an active lumbar spine position, it's totally safe to do. The only negative here is that if you do any external weight pull-ups, especially with a weight belt, this will actually put pressure on your spine and this is actually a bad position to do weighted pull-ups in. In my opinion, it's best to utilize both styles of pull-ups so you can get the most out of your training. And finally, we go into the final reason on why you can't do pull-ups. And that's because most of you all skip the progressions for pull-ups altogether. When most people come to me and ask for advice on how they can increase their number of pull-ups, they are baffled that I have several bodyweight exercises that they need to accomplish before they even try to do pull-ups. If most of you all were like me when I first started my training way back in high school, when I couldn't do a pull up, my goal was just to keep trying, just keep pulling and keep banging my head against the wall. Now that I'm more knowledgeable about body weight training, I understand the progressions that are needed to get someone to be able to do their first pull up. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune in same time next week to actually watch the video on how to get your first pull up.